Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Paolo Stanley and this is part of a crash course on Studio. In this lesson, we're going to learn some basic keyboard shortcuts and some advanced stuff to make your workflow a little bit faster. Let's get started. Before we begin, I want to show you this website I made with all the keyboard shortcuts for InVision Studio. You can just go to studioshortcuts.co and then you'll see all the keyboard shortcuts that you'll be able to use. Let's start with the most basic stuff, like creating a rectangle or oval. For a rectangle, pretty obvious, just an R. So I press R and then I can start drawing a rectangle. O for oval, for circle. If I press Shift while I drag, it will create a perfect circle while I drag. The same with rectangle. If I start dragging a rectangle, but if I press Shift, then it will start drawing a perfect rectangle. For text, just press T and then you can start writing. Hello. To create an interaction, you press C for create. This is pretty useful when you're creating prototypes. So for example, I want to connect these two screens. So I want to say that when I click on this, it takes me to this other screen. So I'm going to press C and then you're going to see the spaghetti here. And then you select the artboard and then you, you'll be able to add an interaction. So I'm going to say that it creates a motion. Then pretty cool, you can also press Command P for preview, and then you'll be able to see your prototype. There you go. Sometimes you need to draw a custom shape. To do that, just press P, and then you'll get the pen tool. Pretty cool. Let's learn some useful shortcuts for editing layers. So for example, duplicating. So you can select a layer, and then you press Command V, and then you'll be to see here on the layers list that that layer was duplicated. If I drag it, you will see that that layer was duplicated. Another cool way to do it is by pressing Option and dragging. So I press Option, I keep it pressed, and then I drag, and you'll see that I duplicated that element that I had selected. Whenever you're selecting a layer, you can enter Edit Mode by just pressing Enter. You press Enter, for example, here, and I can start editing the shape of it. The same with a text. So for example, hello. When I have it selected, if I press enter, then I can start editing. Editing. You can notch any element by just pressing the arrow keys. So you're notching by one pixel by just pressing up, down, left, and right. But sometimes you need to notch a little bit more. So you can press shift and the arrow keys, and then you will be notching by 10 pixels. This is pretty useful when you're moving elements and you want to go a little bit faster with your movements. Sometimes it's really useful to use keyboard shortcuts to increase or decrease the width and height of an element. So for example, I select all of these and if I press command and the left key, you will see that I'm making the element a little bit narrower. If I press up, then I'm making it shorter. If I press down, then I'm making it taller. And if I press right, then I'm making it wider. You can also press command shift plus the arrow keys to increase or decrease the size of your elements by 10 pixels. So command shift left, you will see that I'm making it a little bit narrower, a little bit faster by 10 pixels. The same on the height by pressing up and down, left and right, left and right. This is pretty useful when you don't want to edit it here. You just want to edit your elements right here with keyboard shortcuts. You can copy the style of an element by pressing command option C. So for example, if I want to copy the style of this, I press Command, Option, C. And then if I want to paste it on any other layer, I'm going to paste it on all of these layers. Command, Option, V. And now it pasted that same style from this one that I, from where I copied it. You can also access the color picker with a keyboard shortcut. So just press Control C, and then you'll be able to change the color of whatever you have selected. So for example, this, I want to change it to this color. So Control C, and then with the color picker, I can just change the color from this one that I have selected into this one. It's super useful to edit the arrangement of your layers with keyboard shortcuts. So for example, here I have multiple elements that are just separated, but pressing Command G, just group them. So now they're a group and I can just select all of them at the same time, or I can group them, Command Shift G. You can also rearrange the elements by pressing Command Option and the arrow keys. So Command Option down goes below and Command Option up goes up in the layers list. 
Now, if I want to bring it all the way to the back, then I can just press Control, Option, Command, and then the arrow keys. Control, Option, Command, down or up. That way it will jump all the way down or all the way up. You can rename your layers or your artboards by just pressing Command R. So for example, here I have this rectangle selected. I press Command R and then over here on the layers list, I can start writing the name. So hello, the same with the artboards. Command R, this is an artboard. Whenever you have an element selected, you can escape that element and select the parent where that element lives by pressing the escape key. So for example, this circle, the parent of this circle will be the artboard. So if I press escape, then I will be selecting the artboard. Now let's make this into a group and I'm going to select this circle. If I press escape, then it selects a group. But now the parent of this group is the artboard. So if I select escape again, then it will select the artboard. This is pretty useful to escape a selection or to just select the parent of the element. You can also select the layer below the element you have selected by pressing the tab key. You press the tab and then I select this one. If I press the tab key again, then it selects the next one in the hierarchy here on the layers list. If I press shift and tab, then it will select the one that is above like that. Tab, shift, tab, tab. It's pretty useful to control the view of your canvas with keyboard shortcuts. So if you ever want to zoom into a particular zone, you can just press and hold the Z key and then draw a rectangle like this. Or you can just press and hold and click so it zooms in like that. I'm going to zoom out by pressing Command minus. Command minus will zoom out. You can show the distance between the elements that you have selected and the elements around it by pressing and hovering with the Option key. So I press here and you will see that between this element and this other element, there are 48 pixels in between. Let's do between this and this. There are 29 pixels. Let's do this and this, 104. You can also do it to the artboard. This is pretty useful when you want to make your designs pixel perfect. By pressing Control G, you can show and hide the grid in your artboards. So if I press G, Control G, you'll see that the grid is there. To zoom to 100%, press Command 0. You see, now it's 100%. Press Command 1 if you want to see everything in your canvas. That's pretty useful when you want to zoom out and see what's up. You can also press Command 2 to zoom to the selection you have. So for example, let me select this circle. And if I press Command 2, then it zooms in just to that circle. If you ever want to show or hide the connections in your prototype, you can just press X. So for example, here we can see the connection that we created before and I can hide it by just pressing X again. Sometimes it's useful to show and hide the panels on the left and on the right. To show and hide the layers panel, just press Command Option 1. That will hide it and then Command Option 1 again, that will show it. To show and hide both panels, just press Command Option 3. If you ever want to quickly insert elements from your library, just press Command L and then you'll be able to drag and drop. Look at that. Super cool. So those are the most useful keyboard shortcuts for Studio. If you ever need to go back and find one of these shortcuts, just go to studioshortcuts.co and you'll be able to find them here. This video is part of a crash course on Studio. Keep tuned for more tutorials coming soon. Thank you.